Breathing is a vital process that involves the coordinated effort of various structures within the respiratory system, which leads to the question, what respiratory structure actually controls breathing? Keep watching for a simple and concise explanation to this common question. The primary respiratory structure that controls breathing is the brainstem, particularly the medulla oblongata and the pons. These structures are part of the central nervous system and play a crucial role in the regulation of involuntary breathing. The medulla oblongata, located at the base of the brainstem, contains the respiratory rhythmicity center, which directly influences the rate and depth of breathing. This center consists of two main groups of neurons, the dorsal respiratory group and the ventral respiratory group. The DRG is primarily responsible for initiating inspiration. It generates rhythmic bursts of nerve impulses that stimulate the diaphragm and external intercostal muscles, causing them to contract and draw air into the lungs. This process is vital for maintaining the basic rhythm of breathing during rest. The VRG, on the other hand, becomes more active during forced breathing, such as during exercise or respiratory distress. It stimulates both inspiratory and expiratory muscles, allowing for greater control over the breathing process and enabling the body to meet increased oxygen demands or expel excess carbon dioxide more efficiently. The pons, located above the medulla, modulates the activity of the respiratory rhythmicity center through two main centers, the pneumotaxic center and the apneustic center. The pneumotaxic center sends inhibitory signals to the DRG, helping to regulate the transition between inhalation and exhalation and preventing overinflation of the lungs. The apneustic center, conversely, promotes prolonged inspiration by stimulating the DRG which can be crucial during certain activities that require sustained breathing control, such as speaking or singing. Beyond the brainstem, chemoreceptors and mechanoreceptors throughout the body also influence breathing. Central chemoceptors, located in the medulla oblongata, respond to changes in the pH of cerebrospinal fluid, which reflects CO2 levels in the blood. An increase in CO2 lowers the pH, triggering an increase in breathing rate and depth to expel the excess CO2. Peripheral chemoreceptors, located in the carotid bodies and aortic bodies, respond to changes in blood oxygen levels. When oxygen levels drop, these receptors send signals to the brainstem to increase respiratory activity, ensuring adequate oxygen intake. <laughs> Mechanoreceptors in the lungs and chest wall provide feedback on the physical status of the respiratory system. For example, stretch receptors in the lungs send signals to the brainstem when the lungs are inflated, helping to regulate the timing of inhalation and exhalation. These various inputs allow the brainstem to continuously adjust between breathing patterns to meet the body's metabolic demands. But, as previously mentioned, the control of breathing is a complex and finely tuned process primarily governed by the brainstem's medulla oblongata and pons. These structures integrate signals from various chemoreceptors and mechanoreceptors throughout the body to regulate the rhythm and depth of breathing, ensuring efficient gas exchange and maintaining homeostasis. If you want to support the channel, please like and subscribe. I would greatly appreciate it. And there should be some other helpful videos popping up on your screen right about now that I think you will enjoy. Oh, and just a quick reminder, we are not doctors. This video is for informational purposes only. Have a nice day, and thanks for watching.